Good morning, class. I'm Colonel Brian Silkey, Vice Commander of the 419 Fighter Wing. And with all the schools being closed for the last couple of weeks, we thought we'd bring you out to Hill Air Force Base and give you a virtual field trip of the Air Force's newest fighter, the F-35. I've been flying this for about a year now. I got about 30 years in the Air Force. Before I flew this, I flew the F-16 and the F-22. And I'm here to tell you this is the Air Force's most capable uh, fighter aircraft. It's a fifth generation aircraft, which is the newest technology. It's got a lot of computerized advancements uh, that make it so capable. And what we do with this airplane is uh, we utilize it as a, a joint strike fighter for shooting uh, air to air missiles at enemy aircraft, as well as uh, bombs on targets on the ground with pinpoint precision. Uh, the airplane allows us to see the enemy really far away and to know who the enemy is, we can identify them and then incorporate stealth, stealth technology so it makes them very difficult uh, for the enemy to see us. It's a lot like going into a boxing ring with a bunch of opponents and they have blindfolds on so you can understand uh, how that gives us a huge advantage. Now this is the Air Force A model. There's three models of the F-35. The C model is the Navy variant, and it's got bigger wings that fold up for being able to park on an aircraft carrier, as well as bulkier landing gear for landing on the aircraft carrier and taking that cable. The B model is the Marine Corps model, which has a lift band technology on its engine that allows the engine to rotate 90 degrees and give it a vertical takeoff and landing capability. Since we have a really big long runway here at Hill Air Force Base, uh, this is the Air Force variant. It's got shorter wings. It's got uh, smaller uh, landing gear to help uh, with the, minimizing the weight and give it a little bit more maneuverability and a little more speed. So we'll kind of take a, little, a walk around the aircraft a little bit so you can kind of get a good picture of it. It's a very clean airplane. Uh, part of that stealth technology that we incorporate is we have the internal weapons base here. We put all our bombs and missiles up inside the airplane and then we close these doors up and that helps with the, uh, the radar signature, uh, where we're a radar absorbent airplane and not radar reflective, and that helps keep the enemy from being able to see us and find us and being able to shoot at us, because we don't want that to, to, to be going on. So as you see, it's a, it's a very new airplane. It's got a lot of uh, capability. It's got the ability to go uh, very fast. It's uh, 51 feet long, it's 35 feet wide, and at the tails, it's uh, 14 feet high. Now, a lot of questions I get is how fast can you go? And it goes up to about Mach 1.6, 1.6 times the, uh, the speed of sound. And that, uh, that equates to about 1,200 miles per hour. Now, I know you're in school, you like doing a little bit of math. How fast is that? It seems really strange, really fast. It's a big number. But if you were to go uh, in a car down the highway at about 60 miles an hour, you're going one mile for every minute. Well, if I'm going 1,200 miles per hour, Divide that by 60, that means I'm going 20 miles every minute. So it's roughly about 20 times faster than the car when you're in when you're going down the highway. So that's pretty cool. And some other fun facts about this airplane. Uh, one of the things we like to do is fly really high. We fly up above the airliners, uh, and that also helps us give us that advantage. We get the high ground in the battlefield. Uh, we're flying above all the enemy aircraft, and that allows us to be able to see them a little bit better. Uh, this airplane has a lot of fuel on board, it carries about 18,000 pounds of gas, fully loaded down, it's about 70,000 pounds total. Typically we fly for about two hours uh, each day, but it also has air refueling capability. It's got a little receptacle up on top of the airplane, it's still similar to a, a gas cap in your car, where you go to the gas station, uh, you put a little pump into the, uh, into the gas cap, and you fill it up. And we do the same thing airborne with the airborne air refueler. Uh, we get up behind uh, an air refueling aircraft and they'll drop a little boom into that receptacle on the back of the plane and they'll fill us up with gas and we can fly all day uh, doing that. Another thing that's really neat about this airplane is it incorporates all its newest technology so that we can talk to the other aircraft. And uh, so we can see all the other airplanes, we know where everybody is and we can share information. So if one, one airplane uh, sees an enemy fighter on its uh, radar scope, we share that information with our, uh, with our other airplanes, and now they know where that enemy aircraft is, and we can have a lot of situational awareness and be able to tell where everybody is and what everybody is and go ahead and fight uh, against them you know, all that time. Something else that's really neat about this, uh, this new airplane, it's got 
uh, a lot of equipment that we get to wear. So you can see they got a lot of gear, a lot of survival gear. I got extra radios in here. Uh, I got the oxygen mask that's incorporated. And then we just plug this in to the, to the jet, this little uh, pilot interface connector. And that allows us to kind of be one with the airplane and a part of the, a part of the jet. The, uh, the G suit that I'm wearing here uh, helps be able to pull, helps the pilot be able to pull a lot of uh, Gs uh, when we're turning really hard. Uh, it's kind of like uh, when you've been laying on the, on the floor in your living room watching TV and you stand up really fast and you get a little bit lightheaded. This helps us to prevent that, keeps us from uh, getting that lightheaded and dizziness and keeps us uh, conscious in the, in, the, uh, in the cockpit and helps us uh, fly really good with, the, uh, with the, all the equipment that we have. Another neat feature that you see here is, is, is my helmet. Uh, the helmet is really cool in that it incorporates uh, fifth gen technology. It allows me to get all the information here on this, uh, on this visor. And so on the visor, I plug this uh, cable into the airplane once I get up there. And then I'm able to see all the information just right in front of my eyes here on the visor. And that gets projected out onto the, uh, under the canopy. And then I can even look out to the side of the aircraft and I know exactly what I'm doing, and all the information is there available to me. So uh, this is pretty cool. It's a fun part of being a, a pilot. You know, a lot of kids ask me, hey, how do I get to be a pilot? And it's real easy. All you gotta do is stay in school, do really good in school. Then when you get to college, you start applying to go to pilot training. I know that sounds like it's really far off, but it's, uh, it's just around the corner. So stay in school, keep doing really well, and then once you get graduated from college, you'll be on your way to flight school. So it's, it's great to meet you. Uh, looking forward to having you all out the base once this virus is over, and I'll see you next time.